Hi and welcome to RetroEric. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the CGA to SCART Pro to create not a SCART signal but a VGA signal. This is the uh, CGA uh, PAL uh, test picture. As you can see all the colors are correct, also the brown. And uh, my uh, Schneider Euro PC with CGA output is actually connected through a VGA input to this monitor or LCD screen. So how did I do this? Well, you may be remember my video where I uh, used a breadboard to uh, create... I actually have it here. I used this breadboard just to create a converter from CGA to VGA and all I needed was these six resistors. This is not a solution if you have the CGA to SCART Pro that you can buy at the Serda shop you only need to solder these wires and you can use the CGA to SCART for as a, as a CGA to VGA. So what have I done here? I have uh, connected the brown wire to ground. The white wire is a horizontal sync and the black wire is vertical sync. So those are connected to the input side, aka on the CGA side. And then I have three more wires. The red is connected to the SCART connector on the red and green and blue. And from there, just a, a VGA cable that I cut and it goes back to the back side of the monitor into the VGA input. As you can see, it works fine. The picture quality is not as sharp and the color is not as bright as they are when you connect it uh, through the SCART input. But still, this is very good. Uh, the only drawback with this solution is that your LCD screen has to be able to uh, input 15 kilohertz uh, pictures. If you have an old uh, multi-sync monitor, uh, maybe it supports 15 kilohertz. Okay, that was uh, a trick how to use the CGA to SCART to create a VGA 15 kHz compatible signal. Thank you for watching.